Before I show you guys how to mod BTD6, I'm going to warn all of you to be careful when doing this because your account can get flagged, it can get reset, bad things can happen. So I recommend having a backup account, a main account where you do not mod, an account where you mod and uh, just have fun. I also recommend being very careful when installing unverified mods because they can be potentially harmful. Now with that all being said, this tutorial is for people who have the game through Steam. This does not work for Mac and it does not work for mobile. So with all that, let's get into it. And make sure you come join the BTD6 mods and discussion discord server if you have any troubles getting things to work. And of course, all the necessary downloads and links will be down in the description. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the melon loader. And as you can see, there's two types of installation. There's an automated and manual installation. But before we can do this, we need to know where our BTD6 file is located. An easy way to do this is to open up your BTD6 game that you want to mod. Open up the task manager by right clicking the taskbar and clicking task manager. You're then going to want to select the details tab, then right click on the balloons td6.exe and go down and select select open file location and this will tell you where your game is located. Now if you go with the automated installer you're going to want to double click this file here in your downloads folder. So we got this window that popped up and we're going to click right here and find our BGD6 file location. Now that we found the version we want to mod we're going to click on the BTD6 exe file which has the BTD6 icon so it's really easy to identify. We're going to click open and then install. And after a couple of seconds, it'll all be installed. And if you chose the manual installation, it's very simple as well. All you do is open up the zip file in your downloads folder, and we're gonna drag and drop all of this into our BTD6 file. After everything's done copying over, we're on to the next step, which is just opening the game. There will be a console that pops up and that's totally normal. Just make sure you don't click onto the console or your game will freeze. But if you do happen to click on the console by accident, just press escape and that will unselect the console. And if everything worked right, you'll see this modded client window pop up and that's totally normal. That means everything we did was successful so far. But if this didn't work or your game crashed, there's two things that I know you can do, and one is getting the .NET 6.0 runtime Windows installer, which will be in the description. And if that still doesn't work, you're probably going to need the nightly melon loader version like I did. And to get that, all you need to do is go into the BTD6 mods and discussion Discord server, like I talked about earlier. And under help requests and game not opening, you will find the link to download the nightly melon loader build. And to get this version, all you need to do is follow the same steps we use to download the manual installer. Now, the last thing we're going to download is the BTD mod helper by just clicking on this .dll file down here. And the file is actually going to be blocked, so you're going to want to go up to the top right and click download unverified file. After it's in your downloads folder, we're going to drag it into your modded btd6 file your btd6 file should have a mods folder after we installed the melon loader and as you can see here the btd mod helper is inside of the mods folder now we're going to relaunch btd6 and you should be able to see the btd6 mod helper being loaded inside of the console and when you finally get in the game you will see a mods button in the bottom right and that means you're ready to start modding and the only thing you need to do to get mods is open up the mod browser, download the mods that you want, and restart your game, and it'll be ready to go. Now, if you guys are actually interested in making your own mods, me and Graham Cracker are actually going to be releasing a series on how to make mods for BTD6. Since there's only one other tutorial on how to do this, and it's outdated. And here is my very first mod, thanks to Graham Cracker. So yeah, if you guys are excited to see that, make sure to leave a like and subscribe on the video. It would mean a lot. And again, guys, if you need any help or support, make sure to go to the BTD6 Mods and Discussion Discord server and ask there. Thanks again, guys, and happy modding.